Hello, welcome back to Harry Has a Cocktail, episode 33. If you like pina coladas, if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, then episode 33 is the episode for you. Yes, folks, I'm making a pina colada. Actually, I don't think that's the gesture that you make whenever you're in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is where this drink was first created, I believe somewhere around the 1930s to give tourists a taste of the Caribbean, you know. This is the second in a series of sweet drinks that I'm making. I invested in a bottle of rum, which is not a liquor that I frequently imbibe. Since I bought the liquor, I might as well use it. Now the pina colada, much like last episode, the daiquiri, both of these drinks have some very sort of negative connotations to them. This drink has gotten a bad rap because this drink was very much part of the blender boom of the 1970s, where everybody basically was making frozen drinks. This pina colada recipe comes from liquor.com, liquor.com for all your liquor needs. I don't know. As with a lot of cocktails, you can search far and wide for different recipes. It's kind of like when you go online to look up a medical question. Never Google your medical problems because you'll come up with all kinds of hits and before you know it, you'll have the Black Plague or something. It's sort of similar with cocktails. You can find so many different recipes for different cocktails and the pina colada is one of them. Part of what I like to do here on the series is find the simplest recipe you can make. I'm a home bartender. I don't want to go out and look for all kinds of crazy ingredients and, you know, I just want to find a nice, good drink that I can make at home for my friends and not have to turn the blender on. It's just very noisy. I use it for my smoothies and every time I make a smoothie, I say to Sean, noise, right before I do it. Speaking of Sean, my husband is very, very uh, supportive of my cocktail channel here and uh, he has purchased two things for me that I've been meaning to thank him since Christmas. The first is this. He bought me a Harry's Bar uh, little uh, tray. I use it very often when people come over for, for cocktails and cheese. I put stuff on this and then I serve from this. So thank you, Sean, for my Harry's Bar. And the second thing that he bought me, which was very useful for this drink today, is this. Do you know what this is? This is a pineapple corer. This comes in very handy when you're making something like a pina colada because you wanna use fresh fruit, fresh fruit juice as much as possible. I'm not gonna do a demo for you on this, but basically, you know, you cut off the ends, you put this down, it swirls down inside, you pull the whole pineapple out, and then you cut them and you've got these perfect pineapple rings. It's fantastic. So get yourself one of these. Thank you, Sean, for buying this for me. And yes, this was actually a request from me that he remembered and bought me for Christmas. He's very thoughtful. So uh, this pina colada recipe is one of the simpler recipes I found. Most of the time when I make a drink here on the show, I have not tasted this recipe. Now, there's really nothing untoward in this recipe. I'm sure that I will enjoy it. There is one ingredient in here that I used previously in another episode. I used it for the Mishka, cream of coconut. I believe I used cream of coconut or maybe I used coconut milk. Look it up. Let me show you all of the ingredients we're going to use in the pina colada. First, we're going to have Rum. I'm using Bacardi Superior. Now, again, a lot of recipes really get into a lot of complicated recipes here. Like some say you should use dark rum, coconut rum, a mixture of white rum and dark rum. I just want something simple. So I'm just using straight up white rum. As I said previously, we've got cream of coconut. We're going to use some lime juice. And as you can see here, this is the leftover of a pineapple. And <laughs> I'm going to use uh, fresh pineapple juice in this. And yes, this is part of the, uh, the, whole, the whole system here with the cora. So that's it. Just four ingredients in this. The thing about the coconut, some recipes say use coconut milk, coconut water. A lot of recipes use extra sugar. This does have added sugar. So be very careful when you're making some of these recipes. If you don't want a lot of extra sugar in your drink, check the labels because this has quite a bit of extra added sugar. So I will not need to add any extra sugar other than this. Delicious. Okay, this is very exciting and tropical. Let's go ahead and make the pina colada. First, we are going to use two ounces of rum. One, two. One and a half ounces of cream of coconut. Shake it up a little bit. One and a half. Coconutty. Now, one and a half ounces of pineapple juice. One and a half. Finally, half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Half. Now, before I put the ice in the glass, I neglected to mention that we are eventually going to pour this over shaved or cracked or pebble ice. This is a little complicated. You've seen me do this in, in another show. Some people say that you can use you can use your blender. I, I 
never had much success in crushing my ice in a blender. I just think it's haphazard, you know what I mean? It depends on the strength of your blender, I suppose. My blender doesn't seem to be all that strong, so I always feel like I'm kind of, I don't know, hurting my blender, more or less. Plus, I just don't want to deal with it. This is basically an easy solution. I just put a bunch of ice inside this kitchen towel, and now I'm going to take this hammer, and I'm going to crush the ice. Please don't hit your fingers. And right after I said that, I actually accidentally hit my finger. So please don't hit your finger. Upon further reflection, a rolling pin would work much better than a hammer. Now I'm going to fill my shaker with ice. Use a crap ton of ice. And now we're going to shake it for about 20 seconds. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. And now, I'm going to take that shaved ice and put it into my chilled glass. Oh, oh, it's so chilly. A lot of uh, pina colada recipes call for a hurricane glass. It's one of those glasses that's kind of shaped like this and it's very tall. But when I went out shopping, I just didn't feel like buying four hurricane glasses because you can't really get like one hurricane glass. You have to buy like a whole set. You might be hearing in the background, the, the whole crushed ice scenario is a little bit of a disaster. See here, I, I got a bunch of crushed ice like stuck to the side of my towel here. Put the ice in a Ziploc bag first. Luckily, I have a little bit of extra crushed ice here. It's a little bit of a mess here right now. I wish I'd done this maybe more in advance. So here we have our lovely, lovely glass with shaved ice. And isn't that a pretty glass? And now we're going to strain it into the glass with the shaved ice. Uh, uh. Ooh, pina colada. And finally, we're going to garnish it with a piece of pineapple. Which makes sense. Okay, here we go. Let's try the pina colada. Ooh, mmm, very good. Delicious. A lot of times when you see a pina colada, you know, you see an umbrella, a maraschino cherry, you see a straw. I'm not a big believer in straws. I mean, I did look for some paper straws, but I couldn't find any paper straws. I understand why you might want a straw for this, you know, because it's a bigger glass and I don't know, it'd be fun to kind of sit on the beach with your and sip your pina colada, but you know, whatever, whatever, whatever you think. But this is delicious. I would imagine that your guests need to enjoy coconut. My mother loves coconut. I love coconut, but some people don't like coconut. So this would not be the drink for them. But for a party idea, you know, if you're thinking about making pina coladas and somebody doesn't like coconut, just be ready to make them a daiquiri instead. Two of the four ingredients of this are in a daiquiri, rum and lime juice. This is great. I could drink this all day. Or until you crash from the sugar. Mmm, really good. Okay, that's the pina colada. Thanks as always for watching Harry as a Cocktail. If you'd like making love at midnight. We'll see you next time. Cheers.